Edward Degas is going to be interested in movement, particularly in dance. Now, to him, movement is something particularly interesting to capture. He's going to use similar ideas to Renoir, often capturing it through the motion blur that he's getting from photography. So we do see some similarities between these two artists. The piece we're looking at is the rehearsal, which you see off on the right there. Now, in the rehearsal, the figures, stairs, and deep space of the window draw the viewer into the image. So we're being pulled back in the image, ultimately to this figure. The reason we are being pulled back to that figure is because he is the brightest thing that we have, that red. It pulls us through the image. It forces us into the composition. We also see the use of the diagonals. Now, these diagonals, again, draw us in, but it does something else. It gives us the idea of a dynamic image. He's not just capturing movement through a little bit of blur, but he's doing so by giving our brain the idea of movement. Any diagonal line gives us the idea of movement. After all, look at graphic design. in and out Burgers has that diagonal to its logo for a reason. And as we look at it, that large section of empty space is inviting us in amongst the viewers. The light effect, loose brushwork, and blurriness calls attention to the artist's interest in capturing this single specific moment. And we see that as we move back. Uh, we also see his focus on light and color as we look at this reflection on the woman's face, where she's looking down at a white dress, which is reflecting the light back up into her face, uh, and also back here uh, into the red and this high contrast area, again, drawing us back into the image. So, we see from this Degas' interest in photography. Degas will be particularly interested in Muybridge's photography. Remember the sequential photography of the horse. But of course, Muybridge will do more than that. People moving and everything else. And Degas is looking at that and then he's mixing it with the movement inherent in motion blur to capture these moments. From photography, he's also getting that candid moment. So we have elements of the composition cut off, such as this young woman and the staircase. The staircase, by the way, also invites us up but we're blocked as we move up the staircase. You can see the feet coming down. And you'll look at it and you say, well, this image is kind of unusual because there's nothing properly formal about it. There's no real narrative. There's no real point that we're supposed to get to. There's no real focus. And that's the beauty of Degas, capturing what is day-to-day -day life for a ballerina. 